Hi guys, Tor here at Coconetic. I just wanted to talk you through some account settings which have changed and moved around a little bit recently. Um, so just quickly, the, we're under the My Account Details tab um, just here. You can also access it there. And the Login tab is where you would change your password. That's fairly self-explanatory. The Contact Detail tab is mainly um, contact details for where you want us to send the journal. So that is what needs to be updated if you are going to change address that's where you would change that um, what you need to make sure is that you have your company name in here as you want patients and clients to see it um, that's important for the marketing system but also the branded content the new branded content we've just gone live with if you have a subscription to the marketing system you need to make sure this time zone is set correctly because the posts are scheduled at preset times and obviously if we're in London and um, we want to trigger them at seven o'clock in the morning which is the first one that would go out that would be very different if you were in Australia so you just need to make sure that that is set correctly the other two fields on this page you need to make sure are populated is the tw is your Twitter URL and your Facebook URL and these should be your company pages if you're using it for the purposes of the marketing system um, and the website URL should also be correct in there and that's important both for the marketing system and also the branded content, the branded leaflets. And finally the branding details, this used to be underneath the integrations area and it, we have now moved it to the account details. You'll only see this if you have a product that requires you to enter these details. So if you don't have a subscription to the marketing system or the branded upgrade you won't see this tab. This is where you change your logo or add your logo. This is where you insert your company name. I've got some test um, entries in here. This email address is important if you have access to the marketing system because this is where your autoresponder will be, look as if it's been sent from and the reply to email and it will also be the email address that appears on your branded content. I'll just take you quickly to a piece of branded content. Uh, so there we go. This is the email that address that would appear on here. I've been playing around with this, sorry, so it looks a bit odd, but that gives you the idea. This is where it will pull the website address from. Oh, and the telephone number. You've got two different telephone numbers here. Again, only relevant to them if you have access to the marketing system or the branded content or both. The call to action telephone number is the telephone number on your custom landing pages. So unless you're using the custom landing pages, this is less relevant to you. We separated them out into two numbers so that you can track if you're running a campaign and you want to track um, calls to this number specific to that campaign. So you could set up a custom telephone number and put that in there and you can use other platforms like Invoco to then track calls, etc. to that number. This is the main telephone number that will show on your brandable content and on the footer of your landing pages. Let me just show you the footer of the landing pages. So this is one of our lead collection pages. It looks a bit nasty, as I say, because I've been messing around with it. But um, this is the telephone number that when you hit call us, that's the telephone number it will call. And equally on the branded content, you will see the telephone number there. So that is the field you need to make sure is correct for those pieces. And it says it under here. Uh, privacy policy and contact us link are relevant for the footers for the landing pages not so much the branded content make sure your website address is correct this is where you set the different colors that you want the footer and the back of your um, the footer on your landing pages and your branded content let's change that to white and you'll see what I mean if we refresh this page see that's changed to a white background now down here and if we generate a new piece of content here it will also have changed on here so you need to try and find something that fits for both both scenarios um, and I think that is the most important stuff let me just have a quick look this is the text color so we've got a purple here I use a little piece of software called drop which is on accessible on the Mac, I'm not sure what it is, but you also have little droppers where you can just go and if you click on here, you can see that you can just select anything and get the, get the color. Um, and it gives you the hex code there and that's what you need to paste in there. 
and this changes the icon color from black to white. Uh, let me just show you that. And then if we regenerate that content, you will see that those icons have disappeared probably. Oh no, I've changed them to, to black, so that's fine. They appear correctly under there. And I think that's most of the settings that you just need to be aware of. I hope that's been useful. Thanks, guys.